What is going on my dummies and welcome back to another Digimon Deck Tech. In today's Digimon Deck Tech, oh, that was a mouthful. Um, we will be going over a deck that I've been playing around with um, over the last month or so. It is Purple Garurumon, and I love this deck so very much. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in it, and uh, yeah. So the first big Digitama we're playing is a 2 of of Pogumon. Now, originally I was playing 3, I found out I didn't want to do it. I find myself decking out a lot in this deck, so we kind of don't want to have a lot of trash, so I started adding Yamons instead of keeping the Pogumons. So uh, yeah, um, but on attack, we mill the top card of the deck. So, like, that's one thing that we want to do in purple. We want to have more cards in our graveyard, because the more cards in our graveyard, the more stuff we're able to do. Um, next up, we have three of of Yaman. Yaman says uh, during our turn, if there's four more cards in our trash, we get plus 1,000 power. This is the only power gain we have in the deck. And that's why I like the Yaman, because there's a lot of stuff that we can't get over. And I play against uh, black blockers often, so... Like, it feels good to be able to have that extra 1,000 and they don't have any way to get the power on our turn. So we're able to swing over their stuff and keep them from pretty much stopping us. So yeah, that's our Digitama. If you wanted to change it, you could play like a 4 of Pogamon, 1 of Yamon like normal. Uh, if you find yourself having inconsistencies getting stuff into the graveyard. But we really don't need a lot of stuff in graveyard. We just want to be able to trigger the Yamon whenever we get there if we don't have another way to do it. Um, next up, we have our level 3s. We have a 4 of, of Entmon, 3 to play normally, 0 to evolve, 1,000 DP. On the Legion, we trash the top 3 cards of our deck. Now, I don't play Beelzemon in this deck. Um, I play another level 6. That level 6 can be replaced with Beelzemon if that's what you want to do. However, if you don't like the Entmon and you don't want to play the Beelzemon for whatever reason, you can replace this with Devimon. Um, which I will show you here. Um, I went too far. Uh, this Devimon right here. Uh, two to evolve, zero to, uh, or three to, or two to play, zero to evolve, 3,000 DP. Um, you could play that Devimon if you wanted to, or Demi Devimon if you wanted to, um, for consistency purposes or like memory efficiency purposes. But I like the Entmon. I like being able to mill the top three cards and, um, it, it helps us get to where we want to be later on in the game. So, I like the Entmon. Next up, we have Gabumon. Gabumon is MVP in this deck. I cannot stress that enough. He is 3 to play normally, 0 to evolve, 2,000 DP. Inheritable skill is on deletion. Trigger, draw 2, and then we trash a card from our hand. So, this is filtering cards in our hand, being able to um, mass draw. It's just a really good card in general. I love this card so much. I cannot stress that enough. Um, moving forward, we have Tapirmon. He's 3 to play normally, 0 to evolve, 2,000 DP. Uh, on deletion, we trigger draw 1 card. Awesome card. Um, I use him to swing in all the time. It feels really bad because, like, he can die to the security check if it wants to. You still gain an advantage somehow. So, um, I really like the Tapirmon. Uh, next up, we have our level 4s. We have a 4 of a Vilemon. He's 5 to play normally, 2 to evolve, 6,000 DP. Our blocker in the deck, every deck should have blockers. This is our blocker. Um, nothing really else needs to be said on it. Uh, next up, we have Garurumon. Uh, 4 of, 5 to play normally, 2 to evolve, 4,000 DP. During our turn, once per turn, when we... Or when one of our Digimon is deleted, we gain a memory. So this will keep it our turn or be able to help us starve our opponent even more. Um, this Garurumon is really good for what we're trying to do later on in the game as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, next up, we have Devimon, which is arguably, and I will always say this, one of the best purple cards in the game as of now. Uh, six to play normally, two to evolve, 4,000 DP. He has Retaliation as a main ability. And as an inheritable ability, he gives retaliation. What retaliation does, if you want to know, is if you attack a Digimon or you battle a Digimon that's not a security Digimon, and you get deleted, it will also delete the Digimon that you battle. So, really good. Um, your opponent can't really block efficiently. Um, your opponent also um, can't attack efficiently. It, it just makes it so much better. It allows you to be aggro without being aggro. If you have to be. 
Uh, moving forward, uh, we have a four of a pumpkin mon in our level fives. It's six to play normally, three to evolve, six thousand DP. Um, inheritable skill is just like Gabumon's. It is on deletion, draw two cards, and we trash one card from our hand. So, like being able to have this under our big dudes, this allows us to be able to draw a bunch of cards really quickly and um, keep going. Like we replace the Digimon that we lost, and that is always a very good thing. Now, if you didn't want to play the um, the Pumpkinmon, you always have Chimeramon as an option. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best option to have because it doesn't like it's an unplayability. Um, but you also have my Otis Mon, which is like your two to evolve. I just like having my cards having abilities, and that's that's all I have to say about it. Um, like I said, this is a deck that I've been playing. It's not a deck that you really need to be playing um, like competitively. It's just a fun deck for me right now. Um, next up, we have Wergarurumon, which is another very good card. I wouldn't call it MVP. Gabumon is definitely MVP. Um, he's 7 to play normally, 3 to evolve, 7,000 DP. When we attack once per turn, we can delete one of our other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon. So this allows us to swing, swing again, which is always really good. I mean, of course, we don't have security attack in this deck, uh, or like plus security attack in this deck. We only have the one security attack, but being able to do it twice is always really good. So, um, yeah, Regarumon, so good. Uh, next up, we have Metal Garurumon. He is 12 to play normally, 3 to evolve, 11,000 DP. Um, when we attack, we can play one level 3 Digimon from our trash without paying its memory costs, and the own play abilities do not activate. This deck abuses our level 3s as much as possible. So I'm going to scroll up. So that's why I play the Entmon, because we're able to trigger this mill 3 ability by being able to bring the Entmon back. And then we can use... The Garurumon, no, hold on, I'm bad. Yeah, we use the Wergarumon, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so blind. Uh, we use the Wergarumon to delete the Entmon to be able to mill three cards, and then we unsuspend ourselves to swing again to get the Entmon back to be able to do it again. Like, just so much good. And we can do the same with Tapirmon when we don't need cards in the graveyard anymore. We can start bringing back the Tapirmon to delete it to draw cards. Like, so much card advantage can be gained off of this. And while I'm here, Gabumon, like I said, Gabumon's MVP. When you put a Gabumon under a Vilemon or a Devimon, things get dumb. Like, Devimon becomes a kill spell to a Digimon that's already rested. And Viomon becomes, I'm going to block and I'm going to draw two and discard a card. Like, it just is so good. And if you have it under one of your big boss dudes, like, it's really hard for them to delete it because you're still gaining some kind of card advantage. So, uh, I did want to go ahead and point that out. Like, Gabumon is really good in any blue deck, especially being evolved on top of. I think it's underrated and people, like, that don't think it's good should probably try to test it a little bit more and try to weave it into some of their decks. But yeah, um, sorry about that hiccup on Wergarumon. My my brain just kind of lost it. Um, next up, we have a four of a Boltmon. He's 10 to play normally, 2 to evolve, 12,000 DP. He is our vanilla. I'm playing him over Beelzebub because he is a 12k body. And having a Yamon up under him makes him a 13k body, which means he can crash with other 12k bodies without dying. And sometimes that is very important. I mean, he can still do the same thing that Wergarum or Metal Garurumon can. He just can't reanimate stuff when you attack. And that's one of the big things with the deck. Like, he can't reanimate, but he still is capable of doing the same things. So, keep that in mind. Like, he's... In my opinion, we need the power. And that's why I don't want to play the Beelzemon. But like I said, if you want to play it, Boltmon is the replacement more often than not. Uh, moving forward, we have... Our cards are opinionated cards. The first one that comes up is Millennium on as a two of. Um, 15 to play normally, 6 to evolve on a black or a purple. So we're playing purple, so it fits right in. 13k body, which is not as good as Omnimon, but still a very, very powerful card. Uh, when we Digivolve, we can return one of our opponent's Digimon to the bottom of the deck and trash the rest of the Digivolution sources. And then on deletion, if it had any Digivolution sources up under it, we can put him back into play without paying the memory cost. So, some important things to note on this. 
is like even though he does get deleted and we can remove the, or if he had the evolution source we can put him back into play if it had an ability like pumpkin mon or gabumon up under it those abilities will still trigger when he dies it doesn't completely get rid of them and keep him on the field he will come back onto the field which is very important sometimes or most times so keep that in mind um also spinning the card to the bottom of the deck is super relevant because we know that we're getting rid of the card permanently because they cannot get back to that card. They would have to keep cycling through the deck to be able to get there. So like it's pretty much permanently gone and they can't manipulate it back to the hand from the graveyard. Like sometimes that matters whenever set 1.5 comes out and they're playing like the Metal Memeimon or the I think it is a Metal Greymon in red that gets or black and red respectively that gets a level 7 virus back to their hand. So Keep that in mind, um, but yeah, uh, being able to get rid of it permanently, like tucking it away, they can't do anything with it, super good. Um, next up, we have Night Raid as a two of. Uh, we can play a level three Digimon from our trash uh, without paying the mana cost. Uh, on play abilities don't trigger. We don't have on play abilities, so everything is fine. Uh, security effect, effect, we activate that effect, that main effect, so... Really good card. Um, if you play purple, you should at least have two of these in your deck. I don't know why you wouldn't want them, them in the deck because it is a cheaper option for your level threes. Um, and it is actually counts toward more level threes to your deck if you think about it because you're actually being able to play more level threes. Um, next up, we have Trump Sword, uh, level seven, or not level seven, a seven cost option card. Um, activate the main effect on security. And then... The main effect, we delete one of our opponent's unsuspended Digimon. This one isn't as powerful as I'd like it to be because we have to kill something unsuspended. It gets better with set 1.5 because everything likes to unsuspend itself. But as of right now, it's not that great. That's why I have it as a 2 of. Honestly, I wanted to take it out and make a 2 of Black Tap Back to Revenge, 2 of Night Raid. However, Reboot exists, and like I said, I play against Black Blockers a lot, so I have it as a 2 of in this deck just in case. Um, finally, we have Back for Revenge. Uh, it's a two to play normally or two to play cost uh, option card. Uh, no security effect. Uh, main effect on deletion, or we give one of our Digimon on deletion. Play this card without paying its memory cost. Play effects on this Digimon to not activate. This is really good. Um, you can use this on multiple different things. So, for example, you can use this with Boltmon and Crash with something if you need to. And then he will come back. And if you have like Pumpkinmon and say Gobblemon up under it, you get to draw four and discard two cards. Um, like I said, like in, or you could use Retaliation, use it to destroy the Omnimon, um, and be able to bring him back and he's here. So like stuff like that actually works um, really good. And like I said, you could use it with anything. You could use it with Devimon, Devimon with Retaliation. This ends up becoming a kill spell. Um, you can use it with... Um, uh, with Garurumon, you could go um, swing, activate Gar Rare Garurumon's ability to activate again, swing again, get a level 3, but you're swinging at a Digimon, and when you swing at the Digimon, you bring back um, another level 3, and with uh, Back for Revenge, you kill your opponent's Digimon, it comes back. Um, of course, you won't have inheritable skills on it anymore, but then you can go into Millennium on the next turn, or during that same turn. So, like, yeah, like, you could do some pretty funky stuff with it. It's it's just an all-around good versatile card, but without any more rambling or whatever, that is the deck. Uh, this is Metal Garurumon Purple. But yeah, I, I enjoy this deck. Uh, if you enjoy card advantage, if you enjoy being able to be mid-rangey at, at its core and at its finest, this is a deck for you. Like, I will say some of the weaknesses that this deck does actually have is not having enough power. Like... It can do a lot of really cool stuff, but it doesn't have enough power to keep itself on board and keep a good presence. Um, and also, if you get the combo off and you get to the Metal Garurumon with like the Were Garurumon and the Garurumon up under it, and it gets Terra Forced or Gaia Force, I guess, um, still feels bad. Like, you don't get anything from that. Um, and you got to get back up there. So, like, it is a boss monster deck in its way. So. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to end the video off here. Uh, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what kind of decks you guys want to see in the future. I'm more than welcome to do any deck that anybody asks. Um, and subscribe. I know a lot of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. 
Uh, every subscription helps, and every subscription knows that you guys like and want to see this stuff. So, yeah. Uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to end the episode off here. So, have a great day. Peace.